third round as you can see it's going to be barvo speedway but we've got the previous results or you know some of the results here uh up on the screen oh that's kind of cool uh, um so as you can see here for this barvo race it's going to be a 105 lap race with a 15 lap heat um a lot of history at barvo i'll get into that uh when we're going over the track but um and as you can see soon after this race ozetta will be the one after this one and then eventually double headers so that's kind of cool all right uh next thing we want to go to is the points here's a little look at the points before we get into this and luckily enough they're not updated so here they are i'm not cheesing this season i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go for the grand finals but regular season i'm just going for that team champ um so you want to see this true battle here is like this is basically just the battle for positions right here two through seven and you could really say that two through seven well you know it's more so like two through four at this point um but these guys are all so close that this is like the battle for for the championship and like top five spots and it's just crazy close i mean it's only two races um and that third race is usually a pretty big race uh in the season that's sort of like you know everybody's usually really clumped after two races once you get to the third race that's when it starts to separate a little bit and you start to sort of like figure out where everybody is and and stuff like that um but this is how we're looking going into it as you can see look at the two wins so far the heat wins though all across the board we got roman um vulcan and luke there so a lot of heat winners already and i'm sure we'll have more uh podium finishers luke slaunch real deal detail and ump with the podium so far in the season the top fives luke slaunch real deal detail roman and ump so pretty consistent top you know the podium switch up a little bit pretty consistent top five so far and the one yard charger for luke and the one yard charger for slaunch um so far and you got all these other stats here on the side but as you can see slaunch going into this round uh had a really good really good holy gardens um and that put him in the the points lead here uh over real deal with kind of like real deal kind of sneakily in third uh you know he got second and got fifth these first two rounds so like i said i don't know kind of sneaky i feel like we haven't really seen real deal uh, like too many big real deal highlights yet but he's he's right there in the mix um detail with the in third well fourth uh with the 44 so four points off slunch so right there in the mix um and then we drop down a little bit roman four points behind detail but this is where it's super close roman and ump tied with 40 and vulcan right off them with 39 so that's just like super close right there and then rounding out the top 10 we got hunter Opix, and elite which are all really close too uh so yeah points are looking pretty sick so far let's get right into the race now uh we're gonna be going with heat number one let me get that order here Bon bon bon. Yeah, Roman bon 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 bon. bon. All right. So, uh, big thing for this week. Don't pay attention. If I ever go on board, listen to what I say. Don't listen to theater uh, because the on board is just absolutely wrecked. Um, so just don't pay any attention to that. It's it's not right. Um, if we go through the rest of the pack here, though, gonna have Fireball returning for this race. He's in the front row. Roman is second. Uh, Elite Hunter. Ump Roman, Slaunch, another driver not here yet. Lit. Go through here to the start. And green flag. Oh, I think we had some drivers not show up right away. That's why we're conked. First lap down, looks like Ump is going to be in the early lead here. Fireball shuffled back towards, well, he's pretty much in last now. It's going to be Ump Hunter, and I think that is Elite right there with a pretty hot run off the outside. Gonna be moving himself into second. Hunter doesn't want to give that up quite yet. We have a nice three-way battle there towards the back as well. Fireball trying to get back into the mix if he can. Pizza Nelson. Awesome. <laughs> That's usually how it goes if you have a rough night. Oh, launch slam in the back, and that's probably going to be a caution there. First caution of the night happening in a heat race, um, and it actually, even though Slaunch like kind of surfed over him, he I don't even think he was really involved in the caution. I think it was uh, these two drivers here, Hunter and that must have been Fireball. Uh, conk, conk, conk. Oh, oh, oh. I remember this. So we were having some party cheese. So this caution kind of. Kind of doesn't go too cleanly here, um, so we're going to try to skip ahead here and get to when we actually restart. Wait, what? Did 
Did not know that. Um, yeah, skip up. Oh, okay. I guess that was fine. All right. So yeah, I had to skip ahead a little bit there. Uh, we had some party issues, and that unfortunately slowed down the restart of this heat a little bit. But going into the restart, it's going to be uh, Ump on the inside, then Elite, Roman. Uh, I'm guessing this is Fireball. It's going to be hard to tell the difference between them because with the armors conked, like he looks so similar to uh, to Virus, so that's going to be hard to call. I believe that's Fireball there. Roman Fireball. Uh, Slaunch, Virus, and Hunter. I hope that's right. Well, let me see. Oh, yeah, it says Opix, so that means it's Fireball. <laughs> that's going to be so annoying. Um, let's take a look at the laps quick. It looks like once we hit the line here, and the laps are conked. So we're going to have like 10 laps to go or so in this heat, 15 lap heats. Here we go, green flag. God, so much is conked already off the start. Classic Barbo night so far. Three wide, potentially, for the lead there. Oh, Roman kind of got shuffled out of that pretty hard. It's now going to be between Fireball and Ump. Fireball making big gains already early on into this restart. He's he's making a big comeback here. We got conked early on in the race. Oh, Ump with the two wheels saves it. And that's going to put him in jeopardy, though, because now he's got all these drivers, Hunter. Okay. Ump with the two wheels again just kind of got shuffled out there. Not much room to deal with. Now that three wide is going to continue. Elite is really on edge. He's going to save it, though. Slaunch now trying to work Virus in the back. And as you can see, with all this battling here, Fireball is loving it. He's really opening up a big lead. And yeah, he's if there's not another caution, he's just really set here for this heat race. However, the rest of these positions are pretty much anybody's game, honestly. like, Yeah, all the rest of these positions, they're all fairly close. Hunter right now holding on to that second place spot. Elite. Oh, I think that was uh, that was Roman on Roman action. That was Virus getting Roman up into the wall there. And that's going to hurt Roman quite a bit. Roman and Slosh now going to be far towards the back. With a little gap in between them, then Virus, and then a huge gap. And then that's uh, Ump now working himself into the podium position. Although that could be a battle there still. Um, Elite not too far behind him. I think he lost a little bit of ground there, but he could come back. Roman, now going to try to make a move on Virus. Yeah, not being too friendly with it after that conk. Can't really blame him. But, was fairly clean, honestly. Like, just a simple block pass. I'm sure Virus is going to try to pick up on that for the race. Potential moves that he could make. We're going to see a lot of... This race, this track almost kind of races like a, like a dirt track. You see a lot of block passes and slide jobs and crossovers and stuff like that. Kind of interesting how it uh, how it works out like that. So we're getting close here to the end of this heat race. Again, the laps are conked, so this might be white flag. It might not. We'll see how it goes. Luckily, that won't be an issue for the feature. Or that might have even been the race. What? I guess they were all like a lap short, and some of them were two laps short. It's going to be Fireball, Hunter, Ump, Elite, uh, Roman, Virus, and Slaunch rounding out the heat. There you go. So there's your heat number one in Fireball coming back here. Uh, this is his first night back in, in quite a while. He's already a heat winner. And that makes it uh, five heats. Off the top of my head, yeah, that's, well, obviously with Fireball. Five heats, five heat winners so far in the season. So in this next heat, can we see another new heat winner to make it six races, uh, six heat winners? That'd be kind of cool. I'm sure we'll we'll start seeing some repeat heat winners here soon in the next like round or so. I mean we kind of have to, but it's Barvo. We can see it happen again here. Uh, let's take a look at the order of this heat number two here. We got uh, Sector here in the front. That's going to be shift to his left. Canby, then Opix, then Detail, Real Deal, and Luke in the back there rounding out the field. So that's our heat number two order. And when we get to the feature, I'll get you guys updated on a few of the positions. I know that some drivers come in kind of late. Remember this is a 15 lap heat here. Coming to the line, and green. And judging off the people that are in this heat, from what I can tell, the only person that could repeat heat win off the top of my head, I think, is Luke. So there's a big potential here uh, to get that six different heat winners, which would be pretty cool. First lap down, it's actually going to be Sector leading him off. Holds the lead. Details now starting to approach him. Maybe going to try to set up a move there. 
Lots of good battles here in the middle of the pack. A lot of drivers in this heat. Like, it, it really went ham for the first few laps. Uh, the last heat, this heat, it looked like a lot of these people are settling out for the cushion as soon as they can. Ooh, that was close there. Detail taking the lead. Uh, Sector's now going to fall down to second. And he's actually running the inside there. Gave a lot of room. That's going to give Shift a big run. You can see can be there with a run, too. Real Dill going to make a move. Oh, the block pass on Luke there. Real Dill's going to gain a position off that. And that might open up a door behind him with Opix. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Has to slide back in. Detail leading this heat early on. With still Sector and Shift in second and third. It's just a crazy heat so far. Sector looking pretty decent, honestly. Ooh, Opix with a tough run in the back there. That is unfortunate. Maybe pretty hard for him to come back into this heat now at this point. But I'm sure he's just going to go for it in the cushion every lap. I mean, with how far down he is now, you might as well. Real deal going with the slide job. Came up in front of Shift and Luke, and that ended up kind of conking him towards the end of it. He loses three positions off that. Now we're going to have Luke and Camby going for slides on Shift. Luke's going to pull up in front of Shift. Camby tried to get side by side with him and just couldn't quite do it. Now he's going to go for it again. Camby and Real Deal with that three way battle. No. They're going to settle out a little bit. Camby kind of loses the most off that. Real Deal coming back into it. He's slide job Shift into the wall there, and that's going to conk Shift super hard but not going to be a caution. Unfortunate for Shift. Real deal being ruthless with the move there. Now we have Luke moving into second over Sector, and it looks like Real deal may be approaching that podium spot for the Heat here soon as well. Let's get an update on the laps. Oh, wait. Do we really have... Wow. We're only like halfway through this Heat. There's actually plenty of time left. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking like, oh, we got like two laps. We got two laps left, and we actually got quite a, quite a ways to go. Real deal. Going for the slide job on Justin, not quite able to complete it, but he eventually does get in front of him. I think he got him in the wall a little bit, slowed down his momentum, and was able to take advantage of it. But look at this, Justin not giving up. He, oh, I wanted him to go for it. He had a run right there. Now he's going for it. Justin going to fight with Real Deal. Slide up, slide up. Oh, right at the end. Ah, oh, if Justin slid up early, man, Justin's honestly not looking too bad. Not looking too bad here. At the start of this, uh, at the start of this Barvo race with this heat, and as you can see, the top shots have settled out super hard. That's detail there in front, then Luke, and just huge gaps in between them, even to real deal there in third. But then we have the big pack here, and Shift really got conked out of this. But look at this, Opix actually has worked oh his way back into it. That was pretty tight right there, and uh, may be able to steal a fourth here from Sector. So this is actually a pretty good heat race comeback here so far from Opix, and uh, we're getting close to the end here. I think we're going to be two to go. This time by, as long as those lap counters don't lie to me again. So potentially two laps to go here. And uh, we're definitely going to be keeping our eyes on that sector Opix battle because it's getting pretty close. It's going to be white flag here for detail. And if he can hold on to this, that's going to be it. That's going to be another new heat winner. So if you had anything, if you had like six, uh, or if you had under six heat winners, well, you're pretty wrong. <laughs> and here it is, detail coming to the line. Going to take his first heat win of the season here at Barvo. Luke coming across in second, Real Deal third, and Sector holds on to fourth. Opix fifth, can be sixth, and Shift will be coming across the line in seventh. All right, so I know you guys don't want your time wasted. I'm not going to waste your time. We're skipping through here, and we're getting to that feature start. It's going to take a little bit, though. Fair warning. Oh, what I say in the chat? 56-0, roughly? Okay. I'm already almost there. Alright, right about here. Cool. Okay, guys, so... Here we go, we're gonna be doing the... I don't... I was gonna say, like, the, you know, whatever, like, 8th running of Barvo. I don't know what it is at this point. It's actually... It's gotta be more than 8, right? If you include the preseason as well. It's probably, like... I don't know, off the top of my head. What is this, like, 9? Is this the ninth running of Barvo? 10th running? It's, it's one of those two. Um, so Barvo's been raced to Shatload in Halo 5. That's all you really need to know. And uh, we're going to be doing another race here at this track that just ends up being a conch fest and generally a pretty good race every time, which is why we continuously come back to it. Basically like the Mirabilis of ovals at this point. Uh, usually towards the early half of the season, though, and that's going to be true for this season as well, getting Barvo out of the way early. Um, <laughs> it gets pretty interesting when Barvo's towards the later half of the season because then you have those championship implications with this track. It's just... It gets crazy. Um, but let's go through the starting order here. I think uh, Fireball won that coin toss. He's going to be starting there in first. We're going to have Detail in second. Hunter third. Luke fourth. Ump fifth. Uh, Real Dill sixth. Elite seventh. 
uh, Sector 8th, Roman 9th, Opix 10th, and we're going to have uh, Virus 11th. <laughs> I had to think about it. Can be 12th, Solange in 13th, Shift 14th, and I think we have Ferret joining the field here in 15th with... Um, with Commando here in the back in 16th, so some drivers. So uh, not going to have an LCQ, uh, but it looks like we are going to have another 16-man lobby. That's three 16-man lobbies in a row to start off the season. You'd love to see it. Let's keep it going, boys. Uh, one more thing I want to explain, though, quickly, or two little last things. The race is going to be 105 laps. A few last points. 105-lap uh, race. The pit window is, like, roughly 30 laps. And uh, this is actually going to be a historic race uh, for Barvo here and for oval racing in general because we're doing this uh, crazy pit system where it's more of an automated pit system. So the way the pits are going to work uh, for this race is when a driver comes into the pits, they're going to park their goose and you're used to seeing them get off and start emptying that magnum, but that's not going to happen here. They're going to stay in that pit uh, for a while until they're ready to come out. And when they are ready to come out, they're going to exit the pit and it's going to look really clean. Now you're probably wondering, like, oh, well, what what are they waiting on? So I don't know if it'll show it in theater. I'm assuming it'll show it in theater. Um, you're going to see the health on these drivers um, go down throughout the race, and that is basically how the pits work. Uh, so throughout the the laps that we run, that health is going to go down and down and down. And if you look at the top of the screen, the very top thing on the HUD is the shield. The one below it is the health. That's the one you're going to see going down. Um, and these drivers have to make their pits before that health completely depletes. Because if it depletes, they're going to die, and that's going to suck. <laughs> so that's the best explanation I can give. Um, I mean, that's really all you need to know. Uh, it's mostly on the drivers anyways. I mean, from a spectator sp standpoint, you'll see the pits when they take the pits. That's really all you need to know. Um, and it's about the uh, same as we've usually done in the past. You probably have to do three pits, at least three pits. Some drivers may elect to do more than that, and you probably will see drivers elect to do more than that, but for the most part, you're going to see drivers do three pits. That'll get them to the end. <laughs> I don't know, though. We've had some cushion... We've had plenty of cushion races that were great, too, Roman, so... Uh, wasn't that one of the conkier races? Ironically. We'll show it in theater. All right, cool. So here we go, guys. We're going to get to the start here. Remember, 105-lap race, new pit system here. Hopefully nobody dies. And green flag. We definitely saw some cold trickle there in the back from Shift and uh, Commando early on, so that was a little conky. Going through the back stretch, actually fairly clean so far, and it looks like Fireball is going to lead his first lap of the season here. That's like a four or five wide almost in the back. Settles out to a three wide now in the middle. Several three wides there. Classic Barvo action of there being double three wides, I swear. No matter how many people we have for a Barvo race, that ends up happening like every single restart. And a little collision there in the back. I'm not too sure if that was caution worthy. We'll see what happens here in a little bit. And this is actually really important here. We have a like four-way battle here. That's Ump, Luke, Real Deal, and Hunter. Hunter kind of phases out of it, so now it's going to be just the other three drivers mentioned. Oh, Ferret getting in the way for some lapped, a lapped action, and we do eventually have the caution here. I think the caution call is probably a little late. I think it was for that crash that we saw back there. A uh, little new addition here, too. Leader's supposed to try to line up on those yellow lines uh, for this pace lap. So if you remember the Oval Series, it's going to be similar to that. We have these single-wide lineups during caution, and then the option to go into the pit here. Let's see if any drivers do like to go into the pit. I'm sure we'll see some drivers do it. Usually there's always... Some strat callers. Looks like Elite is going to go in, and he may be... He is the only one. He's the only one that goes in. All right. So Elite going to go with an early race pit strategy. About four laps in here. Going to try to make something interesting work out there. Wow. Love to see the fireball donut there. So, just like the Oval Series, we have that single wide, the option to go into the pit, the drivers come back around, double wide. You get it. You get it. Okay, it's not too bad. The The new pit system is not too hard to uh, catch on to, and I think it'll look a little bit cleaner from a spectator standpoint. Hopefully. <laughs> Probably not this race, because it's the first time we're doing it, but hopefully over time. And green flag. Fireball with a nice jump there on the inside. Restarts at Barvo, always cheesy. You have drivers trying to get that magical cushion run, 
And then you have the drivers on the inside trying to make those magical dives happen. Never know which one's going to work out. We have a four wide there in the middle. Two four wides, actually. And Fireball is loving it. He is just getting away from all of the cheese here. Oh, that was tough. I think that might have been Hunter there. Got slowed up pretty hard. Lost a lot of positions off that. And yeah, you can kind of just watch the racing. It looks like Fireball and Ump, top two. They have uh, are the first two to get away from this pack, and it shows. They are stretching that gap as quickly as they can. It's going to be real deal the next up, holding onto that podium spot. Detail then, and Luke rounding out the top five. And whoa, Slaunch, a little contact there, either with the wall or maybe the dead person that was like on the outside of the wall. That would be kind of funny. We got like almost a flying V, like half a flying V there, still keeping this four wide. Gave the gave the the fan a high five, Slaunch did there, before rejoining the track. Rough choice to do that in the race, but, you know, just got to give the fans what they want, I guess. Oh, nice run there on the outside. I think that was actually Virus, right? Oh, Roman. Roman with the lag cheese, and that is unfortunate. Well, thankfully for him, um, it's happening early in the race here, so that's a silver lining, I guess, for Roman. If the lag settles out on the second half of the race, maybe he can make a comeback, but that still really sucks. Let's get a look at these uh, lead spots. Look at how far they've stretched out, and this is how we've seen Barvo races play out. If that leader gets away, they've got a big advantage. Doesn't always mean that they're safe, though. Ump in second still, and then we have this great battle here. This is the battle between the three team captains. Close slide job there out of Luke. Real is going to lose a little bit off that. Now let's see if he tries to retaliate here. Oh, nice run on the cushion. Doesn't even have to. Just holds on to that top five. And this is actually a battle for sixth here between, uh, between Elite and Sector. So like I said, in the Heat's Sector, actually looking pretty good. Oh, no. Gets a little conkage there from Elite, and, well, he's still got a pretty big gap. Sector's actually looking really strong so far early in the race. Oh, big two-wheel there out of Luke, and that's going to allow Real Dill to potentially make a move here. Goes for the slide job, crossover now. Real Dill and Luke always find a way to have a decent crossover battle throughout these Barvo races for some reason. Speaking of which, Barvo, um, really important track for Real Dill, the one uh, championship that he has so far in Halo 5, uh, regular season championship that is. Uh, Barvo was a pretty clutch race for him there, so maybe we'll see him perform here in this race, try to get his championship launched. And like I said, um, for all the championship contenders that we have this season, we have quite a few, honestly. Um, I really think that Real Deal's key to his championship is these oval races. I, I said that preseason. Um, and I still fully believe that. I think that Real Deal is going to have his decent SX performances. He's going to have his good Rally Cross and GP performances. I, I really think that his championship is going to come down to these oval races. So I'm looking for him to have a strong start here at Barvo to get it started off right. Because if he has a rough one, that's not going to look good on his part. Oh, I'm getting slowed up by the lap traffic there. Now opening up a potential window for detail. That's Fireball still up front, going to be lapping. What the hell? Hold on, we need a replay of that? How do you just flip? Alright, so we get on Ferret here. That's not Ferret. Oh my god, I hate theater. Wait, is it? It might not even... Because he joined late, it might not let me on board. Oh, it does. Okay, it's real deal, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so here we are on board with Ferret. Let's see how he crashes here. What the hell? Alright, well... And that sucks for Ferret, and I think he decides to just pull off after that. I think that, that might be a rage quit there. Um, I'm not really sure how that happened. Um, but, uh, yeah, that sucks. That's that's tough. So, sucks for Ferret there. And um, <laughs> not really. there's not really too much else he can say. That's just unfortunate. Oh, my God. I wish he would have at least flown out of the track. That would have been funny. Um, so, we have Fireball here. Lapping Roman. Getting aggressive with it. Not going to waste too much time. Flew. I know. I know. Say it, Roman. Say it. Uh, Ump still holding on a second here. Detail behind him. Holding that podium spot. Then it's going to be um, Luke and a battle for fifth. Real deal with the slide job on Elite. Still holding on to that fifth place spot. That's your update on the top five. And the rest of the positions are going to be conked for a while. Ooh, detail going in for a pit. 
Uh, let's uh, get a view over here because we must be in the pit window. We're going to see a bunch of drivers going in for their pits. Let's do a little cheese view here. Um, so there you get a good look of how the pits work. You can see you can, you can fidget around a little bit. You don't have to be completely still. Um, and if you really get a good feel for how long the pits take, you could probably time it a little bit. Um, but you want to try to stay in your pit until it starts because if you exited your pit before you got your health back, that would be that would be unfortunate. Can be making the move on Hunter there. What the hell? Or sorry, that wasn't Hunter, that was Commando. Hunter now coming in for his pit. And Luke for this pit as well. Hunter having some difficulties there. Not really too sure what's going on with the uh, with that. So Hunter did have difficulties regardless, alright? It worked out. But it was also commando with the cheese. And uh, we may see a couple. I'll watch this for another lap or two. Kind of spread out pits. We've seen pairs of two so far for the most part. That's Slaunch and now Opix coming in. And we may have three drivers that might be shift in the back. Not sure. Let me see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Need more drivers to fall out of the track. All right, one more. One more lap. So we see three drivers now coming in. Um, I think that might be Virus, Virus, Fireball, and Ump, and now Sector, and, and Roman all coming in, and that's going to mostly phase out these pits uh, for the majority of the field. So let's see how that shook things up. Um, it's going to be hard to tell. Elite is going to be your leader by default, like 100%, um, because he took that pit during caution, so he's staying out for a while, getting those lead laps, bringing back that oval series strategy that he used very often, not... Too surprised to see it here, um, as we saw Elite, like, almost every single race in the Oval Series do the same thing. I'm surprised that more people didn't try it, actually. I, I thought that that early in the race, especially on a track like this, I thought we might have seen a few other people um, have a go at that, but it was really just Elite here, so. And this might work out, well, it'd be kind of cheesy, um, but if, if there's a caution here, that's going to suck for Elite, because he's probably going to have to pit, and then he's going to go to the back, but, I mean, he's going to be on a different strategy than everybody else regardless. As you can see, this is usually when things start to get separated a little bit in these oval races. Uh, we have a close battle there. That's Detail and Opix. That might be a leg well, is that a legit battle? No, I think Opix is back a little bit. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's lapped though. I don't know about that. Uh, Luke and Ump there, real deal, trying to catch up to them. Uh, this is nice. We got Hunter. Can be oh, that's close. And uh, is that the leader right there? I can't remember which goose uh, fireballs. Oh, that's fireball. <laughs> After that conk on Canby, that's got to be fireball. I'm going to be very surprised if it's not. Oh, that's fireball, 1,000%. So fireball trying to work his way through the lap traffic still. Right? It's got to be. It's got to be. There's no way that's not. Let me double check. There's no way. It's not. It's not. Wow. Real deal, you got to talk to your brother. He's conking. That looked like Fireball right there. I was convinced. Here's where Fireball actually is. Still in the lead. Um, that's Detail trailing them there in second. So as you can see, those lead spots are still kind of separated. We just have this huge pack here. Mix of drivers that are battling and lap down. Sector going in hot! That might... That's going to be a caution there. Sector and Slaunch getting collected. And that is going to be our second caution of the race. Alright, so it's going to settle in here again. Uh, look at this, we're already, what, 38 laps in here or so? So a pretty decent start. We've already been through one pit cycle of three pit cycles. We're going to see some drivers do more than that, mainly elite, but we may see a few other drivers. This is kind of another pit that's like in that weird spot of the pit cycle where we may see a few drivers go for a pit here besides elite. So even though... Um, a lot of drivers didn't really pick up on that early in the race. I think we may, we should see some other drivers go for a strat call here. I really hope, because um, stuff like that always was fun in the uh, in the oval series. I'm just gonna skip here. I want to see them pit, but this is just dumb. All right, so let's take a look at it. There's your lineup. Let's see who goes in, who doesn't. Yeah, nice fake fireball. It's going to be real deal. There's going to be one driver going for it. Uh, shift as well, and Sector. And Sector. Those are going to be the drivers that are going to go uh, go in for it. 
Oh man, this is this is gonna be a cheeser. I'm already out of tea, rip. Well, hopefully it's enough to the end. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> okay, so gonna be restarting here. Uh front row, it's gonna be fireball in detail, Luke Ump, and Elite Slaunch now. I don't want to go through all the rows. That's going to throw a lot of those drivers to the back. Real deal, shift, sector, they're definitely going to go to the back, but they're playing a long-term strategy here. As we go to the line and green flag. We may actually see, usually the leader, if they play the restart really well, they can get away, but we're going to see a battle. I think we're going to see a battle here. Let's keep our eyes on this lead. It's going to be Fireball and Luke challenging each other for the lead. Elite's going to follow in. Oh, Luke goes for the slide job on Fireball. Now Detail's coming into the inside. We have double three wides chasing Luke down the track. And it's going to make it a four wide now. Oh, it kind of settles out, but they get a fat run. Fireball and Elite catch that draft. Detail's going to try to get back into it on that inside. Ump holding on to that top five position as well. You can see that crazy battle going on back there. Oh, what is happening here in the front? Fireball on top of Elite, and he's going to wipe out. Oh, is that going to be caution-worthy? Maybe not. Fireball with the crazy save, and we may stay green. So now the battle is going to be between Luke and Elite. Luke potentially with the slide job here. Elite going for the crossover. We'll see that happen here in a second. Detail is loving this. He's going to come back into the fight probably here in the next lap or so. So this three-way battle is going to continue, even though Fireball got conked out of it. We had the four-way battle. He's going to have to make a comeback. So Fireball leading a lot of the early half of the race. But now he's going to see his first adversity of the night. He's going to have to fight back from it. Try to get his season started right. Elite slides into Luke at the perfect time for Detail to make the move for the lead. So that may not work out in the long term for Elite unless he can get back into it here. They're still going to fight side by side for that second place position and that may open up an opportunity for detail to run away with this but there goes look to the inside now up towards elite slide chop close elite barely holds onto it that's going to allow ump and i think that is fireball again catching back up here so elite still in the fight great battle uh for this whole top five so far we have a, a driver coming out of the pits there actually i think that's commando is going to work his way into this so he may play a role in uh what's going down here and that really sucks when he had to pit because now he's just going to have to run this inside like that really sucks <laughs> That's uh, that's unfortunate. It's like not not what you want to be doing. So now the top two are going to kind of separate themselves. Detail and Luke towards the front. Elite is just kind of on his own there in third. And Fireball and Ump still fairly close, but Real Deal also closing in here in sixth. He may want to challenge for that top five spot. Let's go through the rest of the pack. We have Hunter, Slaunch, and Camby having a great mid-pack battle there. There's Shift. Opix going in for a pit. I was going to say, I thought he was about to make the fattest inside run of all time. And a sector towards the back there. That uh, strategy not paying off for him quite yet. But, you know, Justin, he knows what, what he does know is the long term. And he is definitely going to play that game. I just made that up. He has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> and Fireball has worked his way up to Elite. So he's going to make that pass there. An Elite Ump now potentially going to be able to make a move as well. And that's actually Detail going in for Pit. Ump going in for a Pit as well. So the Pits are going to be coming into play here too. Uh, that's another driver going for the Pits back there. I can't exactly tell who it is from this far. We'll see him come out and get a little view here. They may have had to have uh, Pit a little early there uh, because that caution was so long that a lot of their uh, fuel probably counted down during the caution. That's one thing I like about this system too. I actually think it's kind of cool. Um... That the uh, that your health goes down under caution, like that's kind of realistic and dope. Freaking uh, virus having issues in the pit there. Now it's going to be Luke Hunter and Slaunch and Roman coming in as well. <laughs> A few drivers having issues um, in the pits, but uh, for the most part, it seems like the majority of racers are acclimating to this uh, fairly well. So let's see how that works out for the lead battle. They work out. Well, they must have had almost identical pits because Detail and Luke have like the exact same gap. For third place, it's still Fireball. Uh, they may not be in the lead though. We still have those drivers on the other strategy. So the leader right now is going to be 
Uh, real deal, probably. It should be real deal in the lead. So let's find out where he is. Remember, the pitch strategy would put those other racers towards the front. Um, but because of the pit cheese that these guys are going for, that's going to give real deal some lead laps here. I believe. I'm like 90% sure. It could also be elite. I don't think it is, though. We'll see. <laughs> it's one of those two. Good to keep track of that, though, because when there's another caution, it'll get conky. Ooh, a little slide job there from Ump getting around Virus. Trying to work his way by Sector as well. Opix going to the inside of Hunter. Oh, Hunter with the two wheels around the cushion. Felt the pressure. Held on to that spot. Nice little four-way pack here. That's Detail. This may be... This three-way battle is back here. Detail, Luke, and Fireball uh, trying to get around shift here. Detail is going to be the first one to make that move. Now Luke and Fireball are going to try to follow in. Fireball going to draft with shift. Luke's going to do the, uh, the slide job on him. And Fireball may get the biggest advantage out of this. He's going to go for it. Usually pretty smart about making those moves. Remember, Fireball is actually the Oval Series champion. Um, so definitely looking for him to perform here. Had a really good start. Now he's just trying to make a comeback. And he should be... You know, if you're going to be the Oval Series champion, you should have some pretty good racecraft and know when to make those moves, know when you see those opportunities open. And he tried to take advantage of it there, is eventually going to settle back down behind Luke and just try to work back up the detail because he knows that even though they won't be um, technically in the lead, that this is pretty much a lead fight right here. Uh, Fireball's really going to conk the cushion there, though. That's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him. For sure. This is uh, Commando and Ump. I'm trying to work his way by him, and that might be another caution right there. Sector and Camby getting collected. Wow, Sector involved in the caution again. Come on. Come on, Justin. <laughs> and uh, the order gets really conky. I'm probably just going to skip ahead until we get the order right, because it just this caution, it just got absolutely cheesed. Um, so I'm just going to go till we figure it out. And uh, 67, 67. So already over halfway through the race. So this race is flying by. Only our uh, third caution as well. go back here it looks like they've figured it out and uh with all the pitch strategy and how this has worked out wait actually no there's one thing i want to see oh no it doesn't show it in theater i thought it was going to show it it's not showing their health for me at least um we have a uh, real deal elite detail luke and uh fireball in the top five so let's see who's going to pit here Real Dill's got to go in. I, I knew it. He was, like, on the edge of his strategy. Ump is going to go in. Potentially going for some strats as well. Sector, I think he was really close, too. I'm surprised Shift didn't go in. He must have pit under green or something. But, yeah, very well expected to see um, Sector and Real Dill go in there. Uh, because we knew that they were going to be super close on that strategy. And then, wait, well, the Shift, I guess Shift did have to go in. So, what the fuck? I'm, I'm not going to show that. <laughs> if you play through their perspective, yeah, it's probably true. Just unfortunately won't be able to see it for these videos. All right, we're going to get this restart. Going again with the way all this has worked out, the strategy potentially working out for Elite finds his way into the lead. That's going to be Detail in second, uh, Luke third, um, Fireball fourth. Then Slaunch and Virus, actually, with that third row for the restart here. Remember, over halfway through the race, one more pit cycle left. We'll be getting down into the nitty-gritty here. Green flag. Pretty good restart. Let's see how it goes into the corner. Luke making an early move to the inside. This is going to be that same three-way battle that we saw earlier, potentially. But Luke does not get the run on Elite. Fireball is going to try to approach in. Not going to be able to work it. This backpack is just having slide jobs. So that top four, this four-way battle yet again, is going to happen. Oh, Detail with a really nice run there. And he may be able to take the lead there with that run. Luke tries to get up to it, but he's going to get up next to Elite. And ends up sliding out of it. It was a rough attempt at a slide job there. And that's going to put now Detail and Elite in the running for that front two. This is working out kind of similar. So we have kind of two pairs here. We have Detail... Elite, Luke Fireball, and Hunter and Slaunch. There's going to be these like pairs that we got going here towards the front and the, the backpack battling 
You can tell his crazy little collision there, and that might be a caution. We'll see how that's called. Slaunch and Real Deal with some contact there. Uh, not exactly sure how that got started. Let's take a look. Why not? So uh, I hope it. I hope it's a caution. It's going to be a dumb replay if it's not. Oh, Hunter just came in a little late there after that tough run. Gets launched into the wall, and that probably will be a caution there. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Hopefully it is. It should be. Yep. So we're going to have another caution here. Actually, this race going fairly, like, by Barvo standards, not too bad so far in terms of cautions and in terms of, like, crazy crashes and stuff like that. Besides, Ferret's thing was like a lag flip. I don't know what was going on there, but not too bad so far. Nice line up right there nice quick start you love to see that Slaunch gonna go in for a pit real deal gonna go in for another pit so still stretching that strategy and commando as well so those guys going for the pit strats well an interesting strategy call um, because they're they probably won't be able to make it to the end it'll be really close they may have to pit again it'll be super close We'll see how that works out. We'll see what they do. Maybe if they stretch it, get lucky with the cautions? I don't know. It could be a crazy strat call. So we're going to have this, uh, another restart here. It's going to be Detail, Elite, Luke, Fireball, Hunter, and Ump leading them down. Top three rows. And green flag. Not too many... Intense cushion runs so far, and that restart's going to work out really well for Detail. He's going to get a decent lead with a three wide behind him. That's actually Sector on the inside of that three wide. Now approaching the top five. Oh, that could have been a caution. Those drivers got super squirrely there, but they were able to hold on to it. So nice job to all those drivers right there that almost got involved in a, in a caution. So this top four now is going to be Detail, Luke, Hunter, Sector, and uh, Opix. Opix rounding at the top five. And these guys have stretched super hard. That uh, Whatever happened to the backpack there, that just slowed those guys down tremendously. So these like top spots, top five, they're going to have a huge gap until there's another caution. Let's be honest, there probably will be another caution. But those guys up front are going to have a huge gap for now. And also, oh, it might be that right there. Opix goes down, gets cleaned up. Potential two car, that might be the caution already. Let's see how it goes down. I think it was, so I'm going to watch this here. Oh my god, the battle continues to the line. Those drivers trying to get any spot they could. Some close photo finishes there. We'll see how they line it up. Because some of those are actually super close. And now this is where things get interesting. Because remember, the race ends at 105. On a tank of gas, you have roughly 30 laps to work with. We also got to think about potential green-white checkered, stuff like that. We're at lap 79 right now. So if you go in the pits right now, you should be good to the finish. Maybe a green-white checkered, maybe two. Probably just one. So this is going to create an interesting strat call here. Let's see who goes in and who stays out. most drivers are going to go in for that pit and it was almost like half and half i think the majority of the field like slight majority maybe 10 drivers or so went in some of those drivers with the strat calls staying out we'll have to see how that works out for them it might be very close at the end so this is going to be cheesy i think we're going to have some drivers like in the last couple laps here just be really close on fuel they're they're definitely hoping for the rest of this to be a, a green flag run because if there's another caution and they risk it again like that that'll be really close if it's a green flag run those risky pits may pay off We'll see how it goes. Top uh, top spot's going to be Elite finding his way to the front yet again. It's going to be Real Deal, Slaunch, uh, Commando, Roman, and Detail. Leading them down to the restart and green flag. Oh, Real Deal. Real Deal on the outside. Four wide for the lead already. Oh, Real Deal's going to get conked. There it is. There it is. That's going to slow up the entire outside line. And this race has just switched up tremendously. 
We have a lot of the drivers that have been towards the front all race. Now towards the back, Elite goes down, and everybody in the back dodges it. That is insane. That never happens. Elite goes down in front of, like, eight drivers or so, and they all dodge it. Five wide for last place. Another driver going down. That might be Fireball, even. I think that might have been Fireball. Oh, no. Look at this. Fireball, Ump, and Luke, Team Nice Yes, like, all the way in the last spots. That caution just switched up this race immensely. This is a completely different order. We have Roman in the lead now with Real Dill behind him. We, we have the, the neighbor hoopers now at three of the top five spots. So that just switched up this race a great deal. But you also got to remember, there's still like 23 or so laps left. Plenty of time to go. But you love to see it. I love that strategy coming out. I love those cheeses and those crashes because that just made this a whole lot more interesting. We have a three-way battle for the lead. And we got to pay attention to this because this could be huge. Like Potential four-way battle for the lead here. Detail on the inside. Going for it. Slide jobs Hunter. Oh, real deal gets shuffled out, and that's going to give Detail the lead with Hunter now opportunistically working his way into second. Hunter's just done a great job of being at the right place at the right time throughout this race, and it has now found himself towards the end in potential battle for the lead. Oh, can't be getting shuffled out towards the back there. Seeing like the top eight or so. So we're going to have, this is currently Detail, Hunter, Roman, Real Deal, and Slaunch, your top five. So yeah, this just got nutty. And then those drivers in the back, it's its insane. Oh, Real Deal going in on Roman. Nice and clean, though. Nice and clean. And we may see a four-way battle here. Real Deal, Roman, Slaunch, Luke brewing up here. Luke's going to slide job into Roman. Slaunch with the two-wheel on the cushion at the unfortunate time. Now Luke's going to slide up to Real Deal. Real Deal feeling the pressure. Two wheels on the cushion. This is going to be a potential four-way battle here for podium spot. The crossover out of Real Deal. He probably thinks that it's going to go green, or could potentially go green all the way. So he's going to fight hard for that position. Uh, he's probably thinking, like, oh, the lead battle. If there's not a caution, it's chalked at this point. We might as well just go hard for this podium. And like I said before, this is what Real Deal needs. The crossover again. This is what Real Deal needs. These good oval performances. We've got, like, several good battles here. I'm just trying to keep my eyes on all of them because there's too much going down. we got a sick lead battle between Detail and Hunter. This third place battle. This battle back here for, like, 6th, 7th or so. Like, this is just ridiculous. Too much to watch here. Detail and Hunter have been running side by side, lap after lap. Another crossover here. The Real Deal Luke-Roman battle continues, but Roman's going to slide out of it. Now it's going to be Roman versus Slaunch. Oh, the potential block pass there out of Luke. Let's see how this bottles things up. Opix has now worked his way into the picture. With all this battling, he's now back into this. This race, I just realized, Barvo kind of races like a like a Talladega or Daytona, which is really weird. Because of the way the cushion works out. And Hunter must have made a mistake trying to work with Detail. He, he falls way out of it. And now there's going to be Detail with a massive lead at the exact right moment in the race. Hunter going to try to hold on to that second. Luke coming in hot for it. And Real Deal is not done. He still wants that podium position. He's going to try to make some gains here. Luke going for the slide job on Hunter. And Hunter going to do the same reach draft that he did earlier. And we have those battles back there. Ump, Opix, Fireball, Slaunch, Ump, and Fireball trying to make a big comeback. Remember, they had some horrible crashes, some bad pitch strats. And they, uh, they're they having to really work their way back up to the front. But it's potentially working out here. This battle for second between Luke and Hunter is very close. And that's to the line. I think we have a caution out on track. So let's see how these guys come to the line. Oh, I think Opix might have just barely beat out Slaunch there. That was really close. Let's see uh, Let's see if we can figure out what caused that caution, because I, I genuinely have no idea. Um, it looked like Virus went down, so let's find him. It's going to be hard to find him, because... Well, actually, he's like the one person that it actually shows the correct name, so never mind. So he goes down right there. Oh, tough crash, and Sector again! And a lead as well. Oh, that was actually a nice crash. Let's get another view of that. <laughs> So Virus, Sector, and Elite going to be collected in this late race. Caution with under 10 laps to go. Classic Barvo. You love to see it. Man, Sector's involved in like all the cautions. He just can't catch a break. It's a nice little crash there. And that is going to... Oh, detail the leader actually. Narrowly avoiding it. And that is going to switch things up yet again. Well, guys, you love to see it. Classic Barvo. Very few laps remaining on this restart. 
and we're gonna have a caution going into like five, five or six to go or so here at the line. I think details laps are correct. Uh, so at the line it should be five to go. It should be five to go at the line because I think details laps are right. All right, so. We'll go through the lineup once they get double wide. Let's see who takes a pit here. Because I think there are some drivers that are really close on their uh, on their pit. They may choose to pit here, play it safe, try to regain the positions, or they may risk it. I think they're risking it. I'm, oh, Slaunch is going to go in. Slaunch is going to go in. Uh, Commando as well. And I, those are two of the drivers I was thinking of, actually, that were going to be close. They're going to play it safe. And the one driver that I'm thinking of now, real deal, is super close on fuel. Unfortunately, we can't exactly see it, but he is insanely close. And this is a big gamble out of real deal with five to go to stay out here. He's hoping that this race gets restarted as soon as possible because this is a huge gamble. All right, so lining up the field here, we're going to have Detail, Luke, Hunter, Real Deal, Roman, Ump, Fireball, Opix, Canby, Shift, Elite, Sector, in the back here, Virus, Slaunch, and Commando is going to be your order going into the potential final restart here. Five laps to go. Five laps shoot out at, uh, shoot out at Barvo. I think this happened the last time that we raced this in Season 9, actually, or maybe in the Oval Series. I swear we've had, like, several five-lap shootouts. But anyways, here we go. This is for all the marbles. We're green. Oh, some lag cheese already on the start. That's unfortunate. That may switch things up. Everything is all going to cheese at this point. These drivers, like it doesn't matter. They're making every slide job, every move they can. Detail has worked his way past the pack. He had a great restart, and he is looking strong for this win right now, as long as there's not a caution. But the rest of these battles are still up for grabs. Oh, real deal. Slides up. Hunter got into him. Opic's going to take advantage of that. Luke going to take advantage. Hunter, obviously, as well. And that is unfortunate for Real Deal. Now Luke with the slide job on Hunter. That's the battle for second. And Opix going to potentially be involved in this now too. Two laps left. All these battles still happening. That's Roman. Roman had to go in for the pits. Real Deal as well having to pit. Oh, that is unfortunate. They have to pit as they go down into the white flag. Oh, man. That is unfortunate. That gamble did not pay off. The crazy battles still going on. And to the line. It's going to be Detail taking his first win of the season. Luke coming across in second. Opix third. And then Cheese uh, through, the, through, through the middle of the pack there. Oh, now see, that really, if we had the short pits, Roman and Real Deal could have made something happen there. That really sucks. I bet, they, I bet they wish the short pits were a thing. But wow, what a crazy race. We're definitely going to have to take a look. We're definitely going to have to watch that again. So let's see what happened here. So green flag. Who lags? Somebody lags super hard. Oh, it's Roman, right? It has to be. Roman lags insanely hard. Goes from front spots all the way to the freaking back in last to kick off things. Detail just has a perfect restart, and he gets away right there. That's like the key to his race right there. Um, if those guys on the inside got up to his inside right there, it could have been close for the lead battle. But the fact that he gets that cushion right there, that basically on that first lap secures him the race. Let's see what happens for the rest of these spots. Things get really intense here. In the middle, everybody just slide jobbing like several potential people to work for this podium. But right here, Real Deal Hunter and Luke have a really nice run. They kind of work their way away. Competing for those podium spots. Now here's where I think it happens. Hunter gets a little too aggressive on his teammate. Real Deal at the very end. Shoves him up wide. And it, it didn't end up mattering because Real Deal had to pit anyways. But, you know, I'm sure I'm sure he still wasn't too happy with that. And there we see the battle between Luke and Hunter. Potentially coming to the end. Two to go now here. Hunter trying to hold off Opix for those top spots. Sector. Sector was actually poised to take a top five here. Something must happen to him. He tries to follow Opix in the cushion, and then Opix gets cheesed. Oh, my God. If, if Sector went inside right there, dude. Justin. Justin. Why didn't you get more aggressive? He could have He could have took a podium. Ah. Going to the white flag here. As they have to go to the inside. Uh, Real Dill and Roman had to pit. 
And Roman comes out from his pit in front of the field. And that's huge. That just conked his teammate Hunter super hard. I don't know why Roman got... Like, he should have just stayed in the grass, honestly. Like, he was kind of screwed at that point. I don't know why he pulled out in front of the field there. Obviously, detail crossing the line back here is going to take first. And Luke in second, they were the first two to get away from the pack. So they just kind of had this settle out at this point. Opix eventually at the end there gets away from the pack. And Opix, after a crazy race where we didn't really mention him at all, somehow survives to a third place this first podium of the season. And uh, sorry, I, I was probably thinking Roman fourth, but Roman had to come out of the pit. So Roman does not take fourth. Fourth place is actually going to be an insane photo finish here. And it's going to go to fireball just barely with the comeback a roller coaster race pretty much for fireball really strong in the start and then had to make an insane comeback he ends up making it for a fourth place not too bad hunter will hold on to that fifth which he should have had a podium but roman kind of conked him um and then sector oh just outside the top five like i said if he got more aggressive at that one opportunity like he had the opportunity right in front of him if he took it right there, I 100% he would have took podium. He absolutely would have had it. So that is unfortunate. But still, Sector coming away with the sixth, uh, sixth place. Can't be too mad at that. So the, just dope photo finish right there. That was awesome. And then we have a little bit more of a clear one here. Ump will take that seventh place over Slaunch. Probably a little disappointing because he ran a really strong beginning of the race, but then just kind of got conked and wasn't able to recover. Slaunch with the eighth place. Elite with the ninth place. Probably disappointing for them because they had some potential good strategy, but it just didn't work out in the end. Virus rounding out that top 10. Eh? His first top 10. And then it'll be, uh, I'm guessing, like Commando Shift, 11, 12, Cam Camby 13th, uh, Roman 14th, Real Dill 15th, right? Something like that. And it's going to be fair at 16th. Or it might be Real Dill 14th, Roman 15th. Oh, man. So absolutely insane race there at barvo let's get the podium shot another barvo classic in the books wish i could zoom but that's uh that's not happening all right guys so ggs to everyone in the field, another 16-man lobby. Why does why does it not show Opix's animation when he moves? Oh, did he already conk? All right, let's go back. I don't know why it does. For some reason, with Opix, like throughout this entire time, whenever he's not on his goose, it doesn't show his walking animation. I have no idea why. It's been happening the whole time. Why is he looking the wrong way too? Like something's got to be messed up. Um, so there's the podium shot. And at the end of the night, it's going to be detailed taking his. First win of the season, and Opix his first podium, and Luke with the third in a row. So a great, um, a great finish there for those drivers, the uh, three that were able to get away from the pack, and that's pretty much what came down to, uh, to their uh, podium finish. Um, so awesome race. Next race is going to be uh, Ozetta, which is going to be we got our our GP, our Supercross, our Oval. Next week is going to round it out. First rally cross of the season and first rally cross for like a month and a half as well. 